And, and I know you guys like random, um, less expensive, let's say, tools that actually perform quite well. So that's what I'm going to be reviewing today, or I guess consumable item for a tool. We're going to be talking about these little Chinese uh, carbide burrs that are actually remarkably, remarkably good. Now, my story with these things, I bought them with my own money, I think well over a year or so ago, about the time I picked up this die grinder, I ordered uh, some of these burrs slash bits, whatever you want to call them to go with it. And uh, so today what we're going to be doing, uh, you know what, we'll use the used one. I'll show you how well this still works. So I'm installing some of these tapered shank holders for bale spears in something that I'm building. And the problem is I'm installing these through torch cut holes and this torch cut hole is a little bit cattywampus so the piece instead of being straight it angles like that a little bit therefore we need to come into this side and remove some material here. Not quite enough to justify setting the torch back up and then cleaning up after that. So I figured it would be a good opportunity to show off this. Now keep in mind this is the same burr that's been on this thing with almost no interruption for about a year of occasional, but still rather frequent use. All right, look at that. This side to side play is new. This barely fit in here and wiggled a little bit. Now we got all that to work with. Greatness. In fact, when I hold the camera here, it's obvious to see I might have actually taken off a little too much. And that was including me talking about it beforehand a little over two minutes uh, per what the camera said. So probably like, I don't know, 45 seconds of actual grinding action. Again, on a burr that's basically over a year old. I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's over a year. These things, surprisingly, really are no joke. Normally I'm not one to cheap out on consumable items, but even I occasionally find something cheap, which in my experience doesn't suck. It's a very small list of things. Um, Chinese hydraulic jacks are usually fine, Harbor Freight toolboxes, I really like Harbor Freight paint guns the same, and surprisingly, these little Amazon special uh, carbide thingamajigger. So there's your probably fairly random review of the day. Two thumbs up for these remarkably inexpensive doohickeys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and... Oh no! Got too much stuff. And subscribe for more. Cheers!